we're in Lab 8 and we're going to create a one-player version. We're going to create a one-player version of our Pest Busters game. So now we're going to clone a copy of the two-player game frame. So in my workspace toolbar, I'm going to right-click the two-player game, and then I'm going to click Clone. A new two-player game frame appears after the first on the workspace toolbar. In the workspace toolbar, I'm going to right-click the top one, and then I'm going to click Rename. And I'm going to name this one player game. So now I should have a one player game above the two player game. In the workspace toolbar, I'm going to double click the one player frame, um, game frame to open it. All the objects and layers from the two player games are in the frame editor. And then I'm going to right click the second a ship to object and I'm going to click Delete. In the frame editor in the bottom uh, left corner, I'm going to right click the lives. And I'm going to delete those as well. So in the gray space area under the right play area, I'm going to right click the bullet. And I'm going to click Delete the blue bullet. So now I'm going to um, remove the rest of the um, stuff from the event list edit from the event editor. So now I'm in the event editor. Uh, the player two conditions are still there. So next to the number of lives player reaches one and the number of lives player teaches reaches two row. So right click the number and I click delete. The number of lives a player reaches one zero row I'm going to right click the box and then click jump to frame. Here's the storyboard controls. Jump to frame. Box, I'm going to click the end frame and click OK. And then you just test the game. If you see two ships, just move the one player game frame above the other frames in the workspace toolbar and test again right here. So now you're going to add a start frame to your project. I'm going to click Pest Busters here, and I'm going to insert new frame. I'm going to rename it Start, and move it above the other ones. I'm going to change the color of the background of the start. So I'm going to click here and Start, come down to red, green, blue. Click my background. Now I'm going to move the title screen objects up here. Now I'm going to click the view menu and go into the event editor. And I'm going to click the New Condition button. I'm going to right-click the mouse pointer and keyboard. And then click when user clicks on an object. I'm going to click the Player 1 object. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to do a, uh, a new condition. I click the mouse button here, the mouse. Um, user clicks on an object. Same thing. And this is player two. Click OK. And now you test these to, uh, to make sure the buttons work. So in the one player game, I right click the storyboard editor and I click jump to frame and I choose the one player, um, the one player game. Click OK. Storyboard editor on two, I click um, jump to frame and then I click the two player game. I click OK. So now I run my game to make sure everything works right. Now I make any changes I want to make, colors, that type of thing. And when I'm satisfied with my game, I click File, 
save, then file, build, application, and then you call this uh, PexBuster EXE, and that's what you send to Ms. Hadley along with the MFA file, and you are done.